Could we be closer than ever to getting the announcement of alien life? Well, that's what this scientist from SETI seems to think when she went on to say that the announcement could be imminent. But she also seems to think that the James Webb Telescope is going to be the one that delivers this amazing news. Now, the scientist goes by the name Lisa Carlton Egger, okay? And she directs the Carl Sagan Institute at the Cornell and told The Telegraph this week that because of the James Webb Telescope is designed to detect biosignatures, the scientific word for signs of life including organisms produced methane gas and we may well bind ETs very soon. Now you're, if you don't know who SETI are, SETI is an acronym for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and it is an effort to detect evidence of technological civilizations that may exist elsewhere in the universe, particularly in our galaxy. There are potentially billions of locations outside our solar system that may host life uh, with our current technology, we have some of the ability to discover evidence of cosmic habitation and, in specific case um, of our SETI experiments, to find beings that are technologically level, at least as advanced as our own, which is absolutely friggin' awesome. But, in this um, article here, when I cross-referenced it, there were a lot of news outlets covering the kind of the same topic. Um... This scientist was particularly interested in the planet surrounding Trappist-1, a red dwarf star located just 40 light years away, and it's suspected to contain water and potentially life. Discovered in 2017, the Trappist-1 system appears to have several planets in the so-called habitable zone where they could host liquid water. And by her reckoning, it's likely where we'll find life. And that, you know, we put two and two together, Sod's Law says that you probably find life there. So, there is a part later on in the um, in the article that says letting down easy, where it's a bit scolding towards um, whistleblower David Grush. Now, when asked about some more of the uh, bombastic believers in ETs, the Austrian-born astronomer was diplomatic in her condemnation. So she said, quote, I think people are very, very smart, she said, and actually do start to doubt these things when they become a little too convenient. All the same, she considers congressional whistleblower David Grush, whose outlandish claims about the government having retrofitted non-human vehicles and recovering alien carcasses greatly irritated the SETI community and quoted him to be a snake oil salesman. Though she admits that it would be much easier if his claims were true, which even the way that the article is written kind of leads down this direction of David Grush being this bad guy. And I was a bit like put out, not put out by it, but I was a bit like, mm, well, you know, there's a clearly a narrative being pushed um, from, from this article itself. But she went on to say, when I see that, honestly, what I think is, oh God, I wish it were true, she told The Telegraph. That would be so much easier if we had aliens coming here because the search for chemical makeup and gas as a biosignature, it's hard. Even with the biggest telescopes we have. Now, still, it's clear that the astronomer believes strongly in her chosen approach. And if her educated guess on timelines are correct, she might have a lot to do, uh, have a lot to show for it soon. Now, the article is a little bit hit and miss. I mean, the the title is so promising. The scientist, SETI scientist announcement of alien life could be imminent. And then when you get into the article itself, it's a bit like, well, actually, there's not much there other than a scolding report of David Grush and talking about things that we already know from the James Webb Telescope. But I tried to do a little bit of digging to see if I could find anything else regarding um, SETI life or SETI discovering life, and I stumbled across this AI discovered life video, and we're going to take a little look at it together. Using the power of machine learning, SETI researchers have discovered eight new possible alien radio signals hidden inside an old data set of radio observations. These signals came from five different stars, all within 90 light years of Earth. All of them were narrowband signals, which are rarely produced by natural sources. One of them came from a G-type star, just like our own sun. Another one mysteriously stopped and reappeared three days later. It remains to be seen what these signals truly entail, but this new machine learning approach could radically accelerate the search 
for alien intelligence. See what humans cannot. This breakthrough suggests that the question of, are we alone, may not be answered by us humans, but by our machines. Now, this is interesting because obviously recently we had Professor Simon Holland come out and speak about uh, some of the weird and wonderful things that he's been sent regarding SETI, uh, if you remember SETI at home, um, and the things that were coming out were that we'd had communications from 2019 from um, an alien race or civilization 11 light years away um, through quantum tunneling and the, the idea of it just completely blew my mind and the the other things being that basically he did it in a two-part kind of series and the idea was was that he showed that through um scanning the the galaxy we found these kind of doppler effects in radio waves which obviously means that as you get closer the the, the sound waves come in and then you reach it and it peaks and then as it falls, as you kind of move away from the sound, it kind of falls off almost like a siren when you uh, when you hear a siren go past. And this idea was that, like, there is something there in these hydrogen bands. The signal of ET. And here's what they did and what they found. Brilliant Italian mathematicians worked out that as the distant alien possible ET technology passed Arecibo or Earth, it would be like this, the Doppler effect of a siren passing you. We've all heard that pitch change as the siren approaches and the decrease in pitch as it goes away. That's called the Doppler effect. So rather than looking for, hello, I'm here, ET blasting out a big radio signal, what they did is took the two million PARS data from SETI home and looked for Doppler shift. If you could hear any signal that goes boo, Ooh. As the Earth rotated, it meant it was coming from one unique point source. It wasn't background noise. You would only get a Doppler shift from a single siren. If you had sirens everywhere, you would never hear that pitch increase and decrease. It would be lost. But the distinctive sound of the Doppler going up and then down, even if you couldn't hear the signal, would indicate a point source, possibly of an ET with technological tools. It, again, it was SETI, the EU SETI program, that found this. And this was then hushed up by the EU. It was kept under lock and key, not to be revealed to the public. Um, but it was to be released over a 25 year span. So over 25 years, information would be released to the public and declassified. Almost as if like there's this soft kind of disclosure going on where it's not information dumping all at once, but it just gently trickles out and then by the end, no one cares. That's the idea. But what do you guys think? Could we be getting the announcement of alien life soon as this SETI scientist that says? Or could we kind of, are we just sat on this constant mill of, information coming in us never really knowing about it and it getting declassified later on down the line when it's kind of irrelevant what do you guys think let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say um and while you're down there be sure to jump to get the hell out of that like button if you have not already subscribe if you're new and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload to the channel and until next time guys i hope that you have enjoyed cannot wait to see you in the next one and i'll speak to you later peace